how will you invest your time, your love, your life, the opportunities? A topic inspired by an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. A case of fraud. This episode I was watching on Unsolved Mysteries with a Robert Stack. I thought it was an excellent show. <clears throat> it, I, I don't know, I wasn't a fan when it, Robert, whatever, Fiorina hosted it. But anyways, in this case, it showed uh, this piece of shit team up with another piece of shit to... Uh, take uh, 3.1 million dollars from uh, a small town investors from a small town and promise them a 25% return on their on their money and uh, long story short they just took off with the money went on the run uh, eventually over time they all, all three were were caught. Face the music. Worst asshole of them only got two years in prison, so. Eh, slap on the wrist. But, you know, I was thinking, you know, who. Who says, um, Who's at the age of retirement who uh, says, yeah, you know, I got uh, all my gas money, my rent, my mortgage, my emergency funds, my medical, my dental money, my, um, all my cash. Here, you do something with it, all of it. <clears throat> and I think, you know, how stupid are people, or how lazy, or how much do they choose to take the easiest path to richness? And, uh, and these dudes, um, some lady she was taken for her last five thousand dollars and I thought, come on dude piece of shit asking for money and then her thinking you know um you know if you don't have money if you're not uh, doing a nine to five at least or doing your own business um yes me i would think you know i need to um use this money for um, <laughs> toothpaste, soap, toilet paper, groceries, at the least, um, laundry detergent, cooking supplies, and uh, say, no, man, uh, as a matter of fact, giving back my money, you know, why asking for more if uh, you're basically asking for uh, everything man and uh, and because people ask me how can I man don't you get bored of just drawing selling traveling don't you have time for yourself don't you have time for fun don't you relax and I think of um you know I've shared some of the mem memorable moments that I've had you know because when I when I Think stupid, think weak. I think, yeah, you know what? There's um, I want, I want to grab some Starbucks and chill. Um, and I could just shake it off with a dog walk, man. Spending time with good company or uh, um, meeting a client. And I think, <clears throat> and, and if not that, I just think, um, 
you know, because uh, even if I if I don't have a latte, if I don't have a, a BFF to hang out with, or a client that um says you're amazing, I can just flash back to <laughs> the times they've seen people. Oh my goodness, it's Monday. Yes, it's Friday. I'm free. I can breathe and I could sort of think for myself. You know, what can I do? I get it. Barbecue. Oh yeah, I'm going to go see this uh, movie. I'm going to go see Captain Marvel. And... <laughs> so I could remember how toxic white males are. And that women are just equal to men. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think um, I'm going to invest my time, my, just just life for me. It's not even about the money or the time or my savings or my free time or my attention. It's just life, my life to being effective and productive under the role of capitalism. And... Uh, Rinse, wash, repeat, and do again. I think you're a fucking moron. Small thinking if you think otherwise. Well, yeah, well, you'll see that's because you don't have no kids. And, like, you know, you need to go out for a walk in nature. You know, um... Was that the Grand Canyon? I don't fucking know. What the fuck was that? I think it was. I've been through different parts of, uh landmarks or forest throughout what eight nine ten states I forget and all these historical places you know I've been to <laughs> to a lot of places where a bunch of um liberal cuts a lot of I could have done this want to be contenders I could have been a connect contenders um would have gone if you know they had, uh, if they had another dollar, if they had the day off, if they had a car that goes over there, if they this and that, whatever fucking lame excuse they have. But I've been to places and done things that people most, I think most people only either um, just think about or read about. In some cases, even just just all they could do is just dream about it. And um, again, I'm no special motherfucker. I'm not. But, uh, but my philosophy is, you know, to put it in Dan Pena's words, just fucking do it. Jump. And uh, either you're going to sink or swim. I've told people I think a no is nine times greater than a yes and by that I mean statistically speaking from my own experience where I've told people hey let's go do this let's go do that let's go visit here let's do this sort of business let's make this happen that vacation that day off or road trip or whatever the fuck or, or even or even just to go to this restaurant or go to this fucking place within your own state and out of 10 times where people say yeah well, let's do that only one of them is, um, will follow through and that uh, even that has led me here led me here to the point that you know, I'm just um, focused on my collection of work. Fuck making anyone else happy. Fuck that.
But yeah, man, fuck that. Fuck what other people think. Fuck, um... Well, you see, um, your dad was a shoesmith. Your grandpa was a shoesmith. Your fake, fake, fake parents were shoesmiths. You should be a, a shoesmith, too. Um, you should work on the farm also. You should be a shoe salesman. You should, uh, follow, um, Follow the path, follow the safe, uh, unfulfilled uh, route. <clears throat> and I don't give a fuck if you are a shoesmith or a farmer or a fucking ballerina. I don't give a shit. To me, it's about, is that what you want to do? And, damn, I do see people, uh, I don't know, man. Not realize that that power in their hands and their breath, the um, places that are reachable simply by just your fucking car. If you don't have a car, the fucking bus. I've gone to places, cities that I've never been to, and states that I visited for the first time, in some cases uh, on other continents where I've been by myself, and literally said, hmm, let me go to this area and walk the whole fucking area. Walk. Simply like, as if I were Pac-Man and, <clears throat> and I'm just gobbling up all the streets. Just because I do that doesn't mean either that I'm fucking naive and say, yeah, you know, I'm large and in charge. I can go here and go there. It's this, this is the Western world. I'm a goddamn American. Uh, show some respect. Put some respect on my name. Oh, man, a piece of shit out there, man. wins their losses You know, there's other things, again, I mentioned this before, that I have, there's other things in life that I want to do. And I, I no, I plan on doing them. I plan on, um, on uh, achieving those goals. And I'm not, not going to give you some name excuse. Man, I don't have time. What do you say about this and that to do? No. How do you eat a thousand pound elephant? 
one bite at a time. <coughs> And uh, today, you know, you know what? Um, I realized that I realized that I was at the at an advantage. So I woke up alive. That's me breathing with burgers in my nose. I'm alive. I could uh, look at uh, some, some of my art supplies and be like, oh no, I don't have this, I don't have that. Oh man, I need this. <laughs> I need this again. Oh my god, that's not fair. <laughs> Why did I not go? Um, I could think like that, I guess. I believe the name's Antoni Gaudi. Gaudi. saw one of his uh, buildings the architecture of, I think it's called La Sagrada Familia <clears throat> and it's a cathedral I think it's in Spain but I was looking at uh, pictures of some of his other uh, buildings fuck man what a dude what a brain what a mind You know, so many people say, yeah, man, I designed this. I'm in architecture. I designed this. I designed that. You know, but even clothing designers, man. How many are just, uh, you know, e even a, a hill figure or Calvin Klein. How many, how many of their pieces do you really remember? No, not their name, but how many of their pieces? You know, I, th I think I've been impressed with more Mark Echo clothing than I have with uh, another brands. I want some of uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about buying these five hundred dollar pair of jeans. <clears throat> Only because the dude that, uh, whoever the designer was, the embroidery on it had a, I think, uh, I forget it was, uh, some sort of Japanese artwork on there. I forget if it was a samurai or a dragon. But uh, it, it looked just like a, a tattoo, and and whoever designed that, I could tell, fuck, man, that's, um, that's a lot of work on there, man. And I'm thinking, nah, man. The budget, the budget says, uh, the budget vetoed it. Nah, it's not. It's not enough uh, gas money. But uh, I probably would have uh, worn those pants, and then eventually, once they got holes. All over that shit, worn out, faded. <clears throat> I probably would have cut out that samurai and um, try to work, re engineer it, reverse engineer it backwards to see how the hell that was done. Which colors were first? I guess in the background. Yeah, so this um, and I remember that when I when I saw that designer's name, I was like, I've never heard of this dude, or or chick, or whoever the fuck they were, never heard of that brand. And uh, I was like, man, that's fucking awesome, man. Gorgeous. And there's people that think, yeah, you know. I remember seeing uh, this one chick uh, uh, sell her uh, collection of work, whatever, spring, winter collection, whatever the fuck. 
a lot of pieces and it looked like she went to um, Botswana, some slum in India, some in Vietnam and just uh, bought a bunch of uh, old pieces and put her name to it and we got the bodies of one piece and the sleeves from another dyed in another color and slapped her name on it but it, it all looked um something from either a second hand store it, it, you know it looked like a fresh second hand store or, or something from the um uh, the marked um row of uh, ross not not impressed I've seen this other dude uh, sell hats. Shit. He made them. He designed them. Like, they're fucking nice, man. I think like 30 or 40. 30, 40 or 15 bucks a cap. But he was uh, moving them. And, uh,. You know, that's a dude that, uh, and I know lame folks and say, well, you know what? <laughs> well, he's creative and this and that. And I think, no, stupid. You know, if, if you're a motherfucker that fucking is a cook, a baker, um, you run a, a fruit or a candy machine or even an ice cream truck, <clears throat> you put shit in people's bellies. And let's say you always go to this one roach coach, this one, what do you call it, um, mobile, mobile food places, those food truck places, or this one, um, one uh, chicken or taco spot, you really like it or you know about it or you would like to pursue it, I'm pretty sure you could just, um, work there one two or three months or longer and absorb and learn how they started learn their history rinse and repeat and um you know people don't want to do that you see how busy i am how old i am i don't have that sort of money But if you don't take that risk, man, who's, if you don't take that risk, whose hands are you putting your future in, man? Whose hands? people before they were on when they were on Netflix before they got this TV role before they got this movie role um, you know in the process while they're on the road to achieving more things you know good on them but I think the simple formula for all of these was uh, taking action. And you're a stupid, dumb cunt. You're a weak motherfucker. You think, yeah, well, you see, you're in Hollywood. You're in L.A. And I'm thinking, no. I, I just think of this one individual in particular who went through... part of hell on earth to get what they've achieved you know, I don't believe that excuse man 
too busy, you know, that's not for me. I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not creative. This here is this art, my art degree, my art education is just one, uh, one semester, not one year, one semester of a drawing class in high school. And they did learn other stupid shit in there, Pythagorean theorem. Cosine, sine, tangent, other worthless shit. But I, I kept on wondering, man. And if you're so stupid to think, oh, well, I don't know what I should do. I recommend seeing, looking for someone that's happy. Not just happy, crackhead happy, heroin happy, but happy at what you would call work or at a business. How do they enjoy it? How do they know that that was their calling? You know, also under the uh, simple formula revision of what do you get at, what do you not get at, what do you enjoy doing, what do you not enjoy doing. Um, plan and execute. That's it. Oh, this is probably going to be challenge the color but um I want to throw in something different down there I took 107 use copy paper whatever fucking size your spare paper that you have as you uh, work on a piece and you're at the edge of a board or your sketch paper you can still draw on it sort of at least you don't get these marks on your drawing surface you get on your other shit Gaudi again. Seeing one of the uh, ledges of his um, buildings. Wow.
Be careful how you invest your time, money, opportunities, man. Looks like me. One of the worst places to learn how to invest this without an investment class, but for me, it was high school, man. Yes, I could see it throughout the public school system, but especially in high school where you learned, I learned, I observed the effectiveness, the, the lie, the illusion that having a, having a fake smile was important, valuable, was a tool. To be popular meant popular, not profitable, popular. is an accomplishment. Um, thinking that uh, what, what simply was in front of you was all of it. Sim simply was within your vision was the entire, entire whatever, entire universe, entire world, entire theme, entire idea completes the whole enchilada. No. No, man. So much more out there to do, man. And I think it's simply uh, reflecting on your time, love, opportunity. How will you use it? How will you invest it? In order to earn more, you must become more. And by earning, I mean not just financially, but also relationships and love, man. Become a success. Become successful at reaching your goals and growing, man. You'll attract successful people. You'll attract You'll be ready for opportunities for your success to grow, to excel, to go to another level. Get after it, motherfuckers. No excuses. Go forward. Trump.